we got the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and of course a gaming PC, all nicely connected to this insane but beautiful display. This is the BenQ Mobius EX480UZ. And I gotta tell you, think bigger is definitely better. Mmm. This is probably the most over-the-top gaming monitor we've ever used here in the Geek Office. And yes, you heard that right. This is a gaming monitor, not a TV. This bad boy here is packed with all the bells and whistles to get your man cave or... What's the opposite of man cave? She... She shed. The she shed. <laughs> Yes, it's HDMI 2.1 ready. It's got 120 hertz with 0.1 ms response time. It's got a 90 watt USB power delivery port. And not to mention, this is a 4K OLED panel. And it's 48 inches. 48 inches, that's scary and impressive at the same time. All of this to house your PC and console. It's, it's like the all-in-one ultimate system for you it's a home theater so with that let's go through the unboxing actually we're gonna go back in time a little bit to the first time we opened up this bad boy and installed it so let's check it out the gross weight of this monitor is 24.5 kilograms or about 34 pounds i will need some assistance pull it out yeah you know. see you hold it no 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 give it let me just... yeah, yeah, good. yeah okay okay yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And lo and behold, where do we need to start? Quick start guide. Stand, back panel, plate mount for the display. Dude, this is huge, man. Next, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable. It also comes included with a display port cable, display port 1.4. And of course, what we have here is the USB type B to type A uh, cables for the two USB ports at the back of the display. And it also comes with HDMI 2.1 cable. So this is 8K ready cables. So you can see it over there. It says 8K. Show the cables, they're 8K. Ah. And we also have the power cable for the display. It doesn't look like we have a brick. So that is a plus for me, man. No bricks, just instant cable to the monitor. Wonderful. We also have the remote. BenQ remote, very classy. No, with all of that out of the way, it's time to uh, it's time, it's time to open this. Oh, ah, ah! I'm just gonna put it on Abby's table. I'm sure she doesn't mind. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's all bubble wrap. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Flip it. Yep. Okay. I leave you pull. Uh, uh. All right. All right. So now that we flipped it. Okay, it's gonna make it a lot easier. We're just gonna follow the quick start guide. Step one is to take the stand, take the back panel, stamp it like so. All right, simply enough, like so. It, it, this, this parts are pretty light, okay. And by like 32 inch biceps, come on. Screw it, screw it tight. There we go. And then place it like so. All right, remember we had a screwdriver and some set screws. We have to screw all the four screws in. A few moments to leave it Whew! We put on the back panel. Voila! It's a lot of things to unpack. But man, it is looking good. All right, so now time to get down to the minutia of things. This is the I.O. port and what we are looking at is two USB 3.2 ports. Yes, we've got the USB type B port. So that goes into your PC so that you can use the two USB 3.2 ports. We also got a USB-C port which also has a 90 watt power delivery. You've also got a display port 1.4 and two HDMI 2.1 ports for all you console users out there. You've also got a SPDIF out which Basically, we don't really use that, but you can use it for your set-top box or your SPDIF coaxial um, interface thingamajig. <laughs> and, last but not least, a headphone port as well. Now, knowing how large this display is, well, BenQ has made it very easy by giving you just the power outlet directly into the display. There's no brick, 
no fancy schmancy gizmos just drop it down and plug it into your outlet and you're ready to go and we're gonna do just that we're gonna add in all our consoles and our PC and we're gonna see how it performs so as you can see setting up this monitor takes at least two or three people for its size but other than that it's relatively straightforward to set this up so one thing right off the bat is that this monitor is really huge and if you're planning to get this monitor you got to make the space for it thankfully though this display does come with a 200 by 200 millimeter visa mount so you can mount this on a monitor stand if you wish now once we've powered it on you can just tell how good the quality of the display is and not only that the overall aesthetic really screams for that gamer look and vibe right with the orange accents on the legs the four leds at the back that you can actually play around with with the colors and the effects like spectrum breathing and even morse code to even say i love you i love you i love you for more personal touch you are already looking at a very solid and sturdy build quality here and the cherry on top is the four-sided slim bezels that really gives it that whole dive into gaming design. Now what I can say about this is that it's absolutely perfect for those who enjoy big screens and those who like to sit back and enjoy some console gaming and you know what? It's perfect for movies as well so you guys are gonna love this. Now it does beat a 4K TV in some cases because you have a 120Hz screen right here with 0.1 ms grey to grey response time and on top of everything else it also has AMD FreeSync Premium which benefits competitive gamers for a very smooth and high frame rate experience. Now, they would definitely take full advantage of this display and its size. Here's more details for all you Pixel peepers out there. You're looking at a DCI P3 98% OLED panel with 415 nits of peak brightness and 10 bit color display for complete immersion in true detail. So, I myself find it very hard to find fault in this display. It just delivers your pretty much colourful and vibrant visuals, very smooth blacks while retaining resolution and sharpness at this screen size. On the surface, it might just be a huge display covered with the gamer aesthetic but you'll be surprised at what's under the hood as well. Now BenQ wants you to have the no frills, just power up your console or PC and dive right into gaming and with its quick on-screen display to quickly tune your game audio and visual settings and the best part, it even saves those settings depending on the sources you have thanks to this thing called scenario mapping. Of course, you also have HDR in the form of emulated HDR, which is called HDRI. Now, HDRI is BenQ's proprietary HDR technology, which helps elevate the already very solid display by fine-tuning some of the HDR settings to balance out the contrast between the dark and light areas and adjust the overall brightness by responding to ambient light conditions. So yes, this has like an ambient light sensor and it will change the brightness according to how light shifts throughout the day and so on. It's actually pretty intuitive and I'm enjoying it so far because at the end of the day, I get less eye strain and I can game for much longer. So speaking of HDRI, there's two modes. One is for gaming and one is for pretty much, you know, watching Netflix or watching movies and they both work very differently. So in most cases, when you have a display that just has HDR, what happens is that you have some levels of overexposure happening in the image itself and you just lose the immersion. With HDRI, like Game HDRI for this instance, it kicks in to find that perfect balance between contrast and detail. Now on top of that, you can also fine tune it with the light tuner setting along with the HDRI which offers more or less gradations and you can also increase or decrease the details in the contrast areas as well. Now the BenQ Mobius EX480UZ also comes with preset colour modes for game genres like RPG games, racing games and you know even like FPS as well. For instance, FPS colour mode, the screen would lift the darker areas so they can actually see players more visibly. And with gaming aside, there's also Cinema HDR which is useful for like a home theatre experience I would say. So watching movies and TV shows appear more flat on standard HDR, right? So with Cinema HDRI, it just makes the viewing experience even more immersive. Oh, bro, it's like the movies. The immersion, bro, just water everywhere. So wet, bro, this movie. Woo! Because the colours are more saturated, especially in the green, blue and like cyan colours. Cyan? Cyan? Cyan colours? Watching movies is also a very cool experience because 
if you don't have quality speakers, you don't have to be worried because these guys are actually pretty darn good. <laughs> so wet bro, the EX480UZ is equipped with 2.1 channel speakers with a 10 watt built-in subwoofer and it's calibrated by the audio engineers over at Travelo. And what you're getting are very modest speakers with sound that can fill pretty much an entire room. In fact, it fills this whole room. Okay, everybody was annoyed for a moment. Oh, oh I got another kill streak, wow. Oh, I flashed myself. There you go, I'll take the down if I Now with that said, of course, speakers are more enjoyable when played loud. And after a couple of game sessions and movies, I have to admit that these are very good sounding speakers coming from a gaming monitor, mind you. So action scenes have that low-end rumble to them, dialogues have clarity and detail, and with gaming, you're actually able to pinpoint where footsteps are coming from. Again, BenQ has given you the control over its settings, and it's worth pointing out that there are different audio presets that do sound different from each other. So FPS brings up the mids and highs for clearer footsteps, racing games have an elevated low to mid-range so you can hear that engine roar and rumble, and even live pop that enhances the overall sound staging for a much richer and detailed sound. I also have to say that using a PC on this very, very large display has been an interesting experience. And I thought having, you know, two displays to work on was good enough for me. But using this 48-inch beast is like having four, even five monitors. And I find that having all the extra real estate is incredibly useful for working on multiple things at the same time. Now, of course, being up front and close to the monitor when using a PC, one can suffer neck strain, especially when you're moving about, just looking everywhere. So BenQ has given you the option to actually downscale the screen size from 32 inches all the way to 22 inches if you prefer that. So whether you're comfortably sitting further back on the couch to play games on your console or closing the distance when working on a PC, you're covered in any viewing distance. Overall, this is definitely a great monitor that's catered to gamers that are looking for a gaming monitor that can house all your gaming consoles and PC for an all-in-one gaming hub. Now, the BenQ Mobius EX480UZ is priced at $2,999 Singapore dollars, which is competitively priced. Now, as it stands, literally, the Mobius EX480UZ is a formidable 48-inch monitor that will cover all your gaming and entertainment needs. Whether it's gaining an edge with the 120Hz 0.1 MS response time, or getting solid audio that brings your Dreamcast to life, or even giving you the image quality you want, BenQ pretty much has you covered on all fronts and then some. And if 48 inches is simply too much for you, ha! You can also check out the BenQ Mobius 4K line with their 27 inch EX2710U and their 32 inch EX3210U as well. Alright, gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. Follow us on all our social media platforms and be sure to hit that like and smash that subscribe button because it helps us a lot. Until then, stay tuned for more videos just like this. This is Zeki, signing off. More caught, man. Let's go and play Call of Duty. Yep, Warzone. Woo!